measure par rating, and some other stuff as well. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Serai Reef monitoring system. Check it out. It's going to be pretty cool. Monitoring your aquarium can mean the difference between a healthy tank and a crash that will make your pride and joy into a watery grave. So in this case, we always turn to monitoring systems. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Senai Reef monitoring system and how it will help us and how well it will do. But before we go on, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you know when I make new videos as well as do live streams. Now, I mainly purchased this product to measure par rating as well as per. But as I played around with this more, I found out and I realized what a great deal the system is compared to other monitoring system out there in the market right now. Of course, there's cons to this product, but right out of the box, it's well worth it if you could overlook these cons. We're going to take a look at the product itself, take a look at some of the apps to this product, as well as give you some of my opinions about this product and how well does it work. Let's talk a little about the Senai Reef product itself. The Senai Reef Monitor is a monitor system that measures temperature, pH, ammonia, water level, the guesstimate, oxygen levels in your tank, total light levels, PAR and PEER, LUX and Kelvin ratings. The cost of the Senai Reef retails for $200 and works just out of the box. However, one of the cons is that it has to be constantly connected to a window PC, laptop or tablet to monitor your tank, which can be annoying to some and sometimes not very convenient. To counter this problem, you can actually get the Senai web server, which is a box that you connect the monitor to and the box connects to your ethernet cable into your network. However, the problem with this is that it's an extra $200, which kind of brings the total cost of the whole system to about $400 itself. If you wish, you can actually go a little further and get the Senai web server Wi-Fi version, which allows you to connect the monitor to the web server, and the web server will connect to your network through a Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this costs you another $280. So altogether, if you were to get the Senai web server with the Wi-Fi and the actual monitor itself, it's going to cost you a total of about $480. It may sound a little hefty, but it's still affordable compared to some of the monitoring system that's out right now in the market. Also note that this is a monitoring system. It has no controller system at all. The other cost that you have to look into is actually the slides itself. One slide comes with the main packet, but you can buy a pack of three for like $35, which breaks down to about $12 a month to run. Now you need these slides to measure pH and ammonia, but if you're not doing that and you're someone like me who's just getting the monitor to get par ratings on your lighting, then you won't have to eat this cost. Now these slides are actually a great idea. It's only 12 bucks a month and it eliminates the need for calibration solutions or the need to send in your sensors to have it calibrated by the company every so often. Now there's two other Senai monitoring systems out there. There's the Senai Home, which is about 150 bucks, and there's the Senai Pond, which is about 200 bucks. Now the only difference between the Senai Home and the Pond against the reef is that it doesn't measure pair and par ratings, it doesn't measure the Kelvin ratings, but it does measure the light level. In other words, is there actually light showing in your tank or in your pond? And the difference between the home and the pond that I can tell is that the pond comes with a little floating device that allows you to hook it up to your monitor and float in your pond itself. But other than that, they're pretty much the same products that I can see. Now let's take a look at what's in the box. Now the Senai Reef comes in a pretty box. Woot woot. The product itself is packed in a clamshell. Now we have some copy on some leaflets, which basically points to help docs and set up instructions. The monitor itself comes with a 2.5 meter long USB cord. The monitor has some icons that will light up and alert you when the slide needs to be changed and if your pH, ammonia, or temperature levels are outside the set parameters. When we flip the monitor around, you will find the measuring sensor. It comes with a suction cup so you can fix the monitor to the glass of your tank. And finally, a free slide that will last you for your first month of use. Now warning, do not throw away the packaging for the slide when you first get it. That packaging has a code on it which you need to activate your slide. This is a code that comes uniquely with each slide you get, each new slide. So every time you switch it out, you're going to have to install it and then punch in a new code in the Send iCloud. First thing we need to talk about is preparation. We need to prepare the slide if you're going to measure pH and ammonia in your tank. To do so, you have to soak the slide in the tank water itself. 
24 hours for freshwater tanks and 40 hours for saltwater tank. I simply use some clips being very careful not to touch the sensor squares and soak it in the tank and just leave it there overnight. Once you soak it and you're ready to go, installing the slide is pretty easy. Pop off the cover of your sensor and just place the slide into place. You can only put it in one way so there shouldn't be a question of if you install the slide correctly or not. Snap the cover back on and you're good to go. Now before installing the software, navigate your browser to Senai.me and sign up an account on the cloud. This is the account credentials you will use to connect to the website, the monitoring software, and the mobile app if you choose to use it. If you're not using the Senai web server, then you have to install the Senai connection application onto the PC machine that you're going to use to hook your monitor up to. It's also important to note that you will not see or use this connection software if you're using the Senai web server. Now make sure your monitor is unplugged from the Windows machine that you're using and install the software. Now on my Windows 10 machine upstairs, my main computer, I didn't have a problem installing software and it detecting the monitor. However, on my laptop, I haven't had a chance to upgrade the operating system yet and it's still on Windows 7. And it did run into some problems, but no problem, I'll tell you how to fix it if you run into it yourself. What happens is that on Windows 7's machine, it's going to most likely want you to install the latest .NET framework files and the C++ distribution files. It will ask you to reboot in the middle of installing these files. When your computer comes up, it will finish installing. Once done, the software will open. Now here's the trick to Windows 7 machines if you're still on Windows 7. I don't know why you would still be on Windows 7, but once that happens, once the connection software comes up, shut it down, shut down everything, and then reboot your machine. Once it comes back up, start the connection software over again and then connect your monitor when it tells you to. If you don't do it this way, it might not detect your monitor. Now, once you've logged in and you plug in your monitor when it tells you to plug in your monitor, it will go through and run some setup routines. Once it's done running up the setup routines, you'll finally get to see your monitoring software. The monitoring software is pretty cool. It will send a snapshot of your readings in your tank periodically. If you wish, you can manually send the current snapshot reading to the cloud. You're limited to manual upload readings 20 times per hour. This is useful for measuring light parameters. What I would suggest is to take all your PAR readings in your tank, all around the tank, wherever you want to do it, before manually uploading a snapshot so you don't run out of uses per hour. Now let's go to the Senai.me website. This is the cloud. This is where it stores all the data that's been taken in your tank and you have a nice history of it. This is a great way to look at your past readings and anticipate your tank's need or fix anything that might look out of whack. Out of whack, that's a technical term. Other things to note is that here you set your email and SMS settings so that you can get notices sent to you when the parameters are off. There's also a cool event manager to log your water changes, feedings, and other cool notes that you might want to keep track of for your tank. Now we'll go over all this really cool application stuff in a later video, but for right now, let's go over to the mobile app and check that out. Now with Senai Mobile, you can actually see what's going on in your tank anywhere that you have a connection with your phone, assuming that you have good service. Just simply go on the app store, download it, and install the Senai Mobile app. It will give you the latest parameter readings of your tank, so you know whether or not you have to bail on your date and go home and do a water change. Again, we'll go over the app stuff later in a later video, but I guess one con I have about the mobile app, Senai, if you're listening, is that I can't set it to Fahrenheit. There's no way I can read Celsius. I'm from America. Us people here in America uses Fahrenheit and yeah, I guess the you know imperial measurements. So every time you say meter, I'm like, what? Every time you say kilometer, I'm like, what, what? But anyways, I digress. Now I'm having really fun with my Senai Reef. Now it's really actually worth it if you just buy the main product and hook it up to a PC or tablet or whatever next to your tank and have it monitored that way. Or just do what I do and just buy it for the PAR readings. Now you can't beat the price for just buying it to measure PAR ratings and peer and Kelvin ratings and all that stuff about your light. Because so far, as far as I can tell, this gives you some really accurate readings compared to some of the more pricier meters out there. I've did my research, I went on the net and I saw people, you know, comparing the readings with the Senai, against the Apogee, against the Lycor. So it is very close. Very close is good enough for me, at least for right now. Now this is very important because as I mentioned before, par and pair is actually the ratings you want to use to measure how well your light is doing to grow plants. 
Now, if you're actually thinking about buying this product, link down below, affiliate links, it'll actually help me out a little as well. Now, I will be making follow-up videos, basically me playing with the PAR ratings and measuring PAR ratings, as well as a video going over the Senai.me, the mobile app, as well as the connection app in more detail. So if you're new here and you actually want to see those videos, hit that subscribe button and that notification icon so you know when those videos are released. And of course, leave a comment or question down below in the video and leave a like for me if you like this video, this like this topic, just love this pretty face. And I will see you guys out there. I love you guys. Stay wet with your tanks. I will see you in the next video.